G'day folks, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to solve 3x3 Trober's octahedron. It's this puzzle here and it turns like that and it's a, an interesting one, it's a 3x3 shape mod. We've got what are essentially the centres are, are now these bits here and these centres behave as corners. So it's a little bit different, it's quite a fun puzzle, it's not a hard puzzle. So what we're going to do is start off by just finding any of these, they are actually corners, as I said, they behave as centres, but any of these, and just go, that's where I'm starting. That's a yellow-green, you can see there. Now, somewhere down here, there will be a piece that has yellow-green. There it is. So what I want to do is turn that and match it up like that first. And I'm going to do this as we go. So I'm going to place that yellow-green edge that belongs in there. So I, oh, here it is. Find it, and I note, I'm just going to use simple edge piece series to do that. So in this case, it's got to turn in and it's going to be misoriented. So I'll turn its position down, put it on, and turn it up into position like that. So we've got that fixed, we've got that edge, and we've got that one fixed. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. This is green-orange. So I'll note that there's a green-orange on this piece. I'll turn that around until it's correctly oriented, and now find the green-orange edge, which is down here. So I can freely turn that. Uh, face uh, until it's underneath. Now I note that the orange green is on the bottom here and it's misoriented to that center which is actually really good. I can turn it off, I can now turn that down, put it on and turn that back up and you'll see that that's starting to build. The next one is orange blue so I'll turn this around until that matches that orange blue is over here and let's have a look this time I'll turn it down here and once again it's misoriented to that which is good so we can turn it off move that down put it on and turn it back up and that one's done and the last one the blue yellow same deal turn that up now this time the, the yellow blue piece is here now it's slightly different because I don't want to use this piece at all. So let's have a think. That one at the moment is going to turn in wrongly to that. So what I'm actually going to do is take it out of this middle layer. Normally I would just use these three pieces, but at the moment I can't do that because that one's already done. So I'm going to take it out of the middle layer just like that and that leaves that intact. Let's have a look now. It's still wrongly oriented and we can see that that um, now it's down the bottom it's in a position where I'd like it to be because I know that it's opposite to this blue yellow. So I can turn that off, turn that on and put it up and that completes all of the top edges. Now what I'm going to do now is turn it over and just start placing some of these middle edges. I really probably want to be left with um, one middle edge. So I'm going to go for the, another three. It doesn't matter which three at the moment. So let's just find some that go there. Um, you can see that the white orange goes there. So that's not ideal. What do we need here? A green blue. Do we have that up the top? No. Red yellow? Yes, we do. So we'll put the red yellow in and we note initially um, that I'm not concerned with this one yet. So to put that red yellow in, that's going to turn down wrongly, so I'm going to move its position over, turn it on to its position, and put it back down. So the red yellow is done. What else have we got? The light blue and green, which is this piece. Again, we'll have to turn its position up, put it on, and put it in. And what about a white orange? That's still there. What about the green blue? That's there. So we're going to have to take one of these out. Let's take that one out up to the top. And this green blue, now that will just turn down correctly. So I can just go down, down, up, up to do that. And at this stage, we've got most of the middle layer done. We've left this piece intentionally. Now's the time when we want to look at this particular corner up here. We want to make sure that's correctly oriented. So I'll turn that 
so that the white matches those whites. Now what I want to do is start placing these edges. I'm going to go for the ones at the back. You can see this one's already done. Fantastic. Next I've got this red blue and to do that red blue, that's over here at the moment. I'm actually going to put it down in this position in the middle layer and I'm then going to turn around this now I want, you can see by the corners there, I want the red to go up to that position and so that will now just turn up to there turn across and undo those moves now I don't need to undo that because I'll have to turn it back anyway which you can see that's what's happened so those back two edges are done and that now leaves me with the final three edges and these will be in some kind of three cycle and in this case I'll just look to see what I've got I've got the white orange that's going to go down here and that's going to orient correctly when it turns I've got this white green when that turns into its position that will orient correctly and you'll notice that this white blue when that turns in that will misorient that's the key the one that misorients I want to turn it onto its position after I've turned its position across so this one I need to turn that across then turn that on and then undo those moves and that's what will get those last edges correctly placed now the last stage of the solve is to complete what are centers but what actually behave as corners and so to do that I'm going to use the corner piece series and so I'm going to look I've got a red one done here so it'd be nice to get ones done around it if I can so I'm going to firstly um, what I'm going to do see what is you don't have to do this it's just I like to be uh, sort of vaguely ordered so I've got a blue that could go here now with the corner piece series it's whoops it's going to move corners either from here to here to here or from here to here to here depending on which way we start it and so the the one down the bottom will go across a diagonal so because I want to move the blue to there I'm going to hold it like that and I'm going to do the corner piece series which will move the white to here which is good the yellow to here and the blue up to there and I treat this as my upper face this as my right so standard corner piece series upturn right away up anti-clockwise left away and then undo all that and now having done that what you can see is that that blue has gone in the white also has gone in and I've got this red in so if I could be nice to get this green down to here is that the correct green? no it's this green here so once again I'll say well that green I'd like to go across the diagonal so this time to go across that diagonal the piece movement is going to be like this so my corner piece series will begin with an anti-clockwise turn and then left away so this is just the mirror of the one we just did there we go and we can see now we've got those four and we've got the blue we'll now have three centers remaining and we just position it so that we've got the one that needs to go across the diagonal at the bottom and we can see the yellow will go there the green will go there the orange will come down here so for our final corner piece series carry it out and that is done and that's the 3x3 Trabers octahedron solved